three plus four equals eight. Is this the kind of problem you're, you're, you're you said, hey, let's look at? Yeah. Okay. So with absolute value problems, you want to you, you want to isolate the the part that's the absolute value. So see how there's a plus four here. We want to get rid of that. Subtract four from both sides. X minus three equals four. Now this always produces two equations. Okay, there's the positive and the negative, or case one and case two. Does that is that something you uh, heard in class or saw in class? Yeah. Okay, so the first one is x minus three equals four. X minus three equals negative four. Oh. If you... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I always was doing it as x minus 3, either plus 4 or minus 4 equals 8. Yeah, so you can't you can't do that until you isolate the absolute value. Yeah, okay. So you, you end up getting 7, uh, and then you get x equals negative 1 here like this. All right? Yeah. Great. So for number 2 here, number 2 is a little bit more difficult. Uh, the um, again, your goal is to isolate the absolute value. All yeah. right. So here you have to add three to both sides. Two y plus seven absolute value equals eight. There's yeah. going to be two two equations here. Two y plus seven equals eight. Two y plus seven equals minus eight. Okay. So you, Could you solve uh, both of these for us? You you do get fractions. Hopefully that's not a big deal for you by okay. this point. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Um, is it y equals one half and y equals negative 15 over two? First one. Very good. All right. Uh, good job on that. So uh, let's try another one here. So it's also possible for you to have numbers in front. Like let's say at a five here equals uh. 25, for example. So you have to you have to isolate the absolute value. You have to get rid of like a number in front. Okay. So how would you undo this five in front? Um divide by five. Exactly. So you divide both sides by five. You're dividing outside the absolute value. Okay. Okay. So why don't you try to why don't you try to solve this one on your own, please? Okay. Um, I got x equals three and x equals negative two. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so the way we can check is we can actually try those numbers. Two times three minus one, absolute value, is six minus one, which is the absolute value of five. That works. And then you can do the same thing. Two times negative two minus one, negative four minus one, absolute value of negative five is five. That also works. So you can always check your answer. Now, sometimes sometimes you check your answer, or it's hard to check your answer, um, but you can uh, you could definitely do that. Uh, yeah. Any questions on that before we do another one? Uh, no. All right. Um, Okay, so what else do I see here? So here, here's a problem 
I want us to look at uh, this problem here. Actually, tell me, I want you to tell me how to solve something like this. What would you do first? Just tell me verbally, please. Um, I would probably divide by negative six. Okay, good. So the absolute value of P equals five. So, so what are the two answers here? P equals five and P equals negative five. Very good. Okay. I think you got it. All right. So let's look at another type of problem that you'll see here. Okay. This is a little bit awkward, but do you agree that the part let me let me shade this, highlight this. These are the same. <clears throat> or or maybe if I do it this way, these are the same. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's like saying you have three absolute values of seven and four absolute values of seven. That means you have seven absolute value of sevens. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that in class? No. Okay, so you can add absolute values. If you, if they're exactly the same inside the absolute value, you can add them together. Okay. Okay, so I'd like you to solve it from here, please. Okay. Z equals three and negative three. Okay, so you got that down. Now, it applies no matter what you have In here. So let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna just change the problem. I don't know why the chose numbers are so large. Let's say if this equals let's see here 12. Okay. All right. So how many absolute value of x plus threes do you have? Um two. Two after you're done. Okay, so I want you to solve this from here, please. All right. Uh, I got x equals 3 and x equals negative 9. All right, you're doing really well here. Let me uh, put a more challenging problem in front of you. Okay. How many absolute values of x plus 7 are there? Uh, there are six. Yes, because there's really a one here in front. Okay, go ahead and uh, solve this for me, please. Um, I got X equals negative three and negative nine. You got it. Really good. Okay. Seemed like you have this down. Would you agree? Yeah. All right. Very good. So what else besides absolute value is troubling you in this, uh, in this section? Um, oh, well, actually I had this one, like one practice quiz problem that I was having some trouble with. Can I? Okay. Yeah. Like, can I read it out to you? Uh, maybe we'll see how well it goes. Sure. Go ahead and try. All right. I just have to find it again. If there's any way to send a picture over, that's always preferred. Yeah. Sometimes things get lost in uh, translation. Uh -huh.
sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Um, I think it was what? Um. Oh, shoot. Oh, it doesn't show me the act what I got wrong anymore. Well, it's okay. We can we can look at it if, if it's still helpful. Uh, it's like, for some reason, not showing me any of the questions. Sometimes th that's the nature of those after you um, take the test or the quiz. They don't show you. They just give you your score. Your mom was asking me about that. I said, well, that's kind of the way they do it at uh, UHS. Yeah. So. All right. All right. All right, so let me find some absolute value word problems. Uh, these are uh, these are ones that I would think a lot of students would struggle with just because because they're word problems here. Um, all right, so here is a here is a problem, and and what we're really interested in is your ability to write the equation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to be clear here, what uh, what you're trying to write. Is and, and this is not correct, but it would be something like x minus five is less than uh, two. Oh. I'm sorry, e e sorry, equals two. Sorry, you're not doing those yet. Equals two, something like that. Now, this is not the right answer, but maybe you've seen these in class or not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to try to write the equation for the first one? Uh, sure. Um, uh, I'm is used to going. Um, is it X plus point three equals sixteen? You got the right numbers in there, and and once you know the 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 sort of the format, it it becomes much easier. It's uh it's typically the variable minus the center equals the width or the half width, depending on how you look at it. Oh, okay. So how does that change your answer? Um, would it be x minus point three? Oh. So 16 is the center. Okay. And it's okay. It's okay if they're 0. 0.3 more or less. That's the that's the half width. Okay. Okay. So could you uh could you solve this for us? And I'm and I'm okay if you just give me the numbers right now, or if you need to, you can work it out. Um, mm -hmm. um so it would be uh x equals 16.3 and x equals 15.8. Or, Point seven. Seven. Yeah. All right. So kind of once you get the feel of these, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty much uh, the same. It's just an, it's just knowing which number goes where. Uh, so mm -hmm. here's another one for you to try. Two strokes of the car, the car is 72, the mass of the room is 62. So, x minus 2 equals 72. Is it x equals 2 equals 72? It's always x minus. So, x minus 2 equals 72. Is that like that? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and solve this. And tell me your answers. Um, x equals seventy four and x equals seventy. Uh that would be true if you wrote a different equation. 
Oh, shoot, my bad. Yeah. So th th there's the answer. The answer is uh, you, this is not the right equation because one of the answers ends up being a negative score. And I don't know if you know anything about golf. It's okay if you don't. Uh, I play a lot of golf, so you will offend me if you say golf is awful. Uh, but this is not a possible score. I'm kidding. This is not a possible score in golf. Okay. So this means this means your equation is wrong. Um, and that's where the challenge is. Like, what do you, you know, you almost have to write it and solve it and then see, like, is it reasonable? So if you, if you um, write it this way, where it's X minus 72, that's the center, equals 2. Go ahead and solve this. Okay. All right, so that one would equal 74 and 70. And, and and so you knew the right answer. You knew that it was those were the two answers. You just didn't have the right equation. So you just kind of work through that a little bit. All right, let me grab another question for you to, uh, to work on here. Um, it's not always that the bigger number is inside. I mean, it, it could be, it is in a lot of cases, but not always. That's one of the things I don't like about these problems. They don't, they don't have enough, um, but they're okay. So let's, let's try one more here. Um, we can make a goal of seventy-five dollar food after he scored. Uh, last moment, he was within six point five of his goal. Uh, is it x minus 75 equals 6.5? Okay, what are the two solutions to this? Um, 81.5 and... Um, it would be good to write it down. I'm not requiring it, but it would be good to do that. <laughs> Sixty nine point five. It's sixty eight point five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's look at an. A bit, we're just going to go a completely different direction here. Found this problem in another textbook. Uh, it's just making an argument. Your friend says that the absolute value equation. Absolute value three x plus eight minus nine equals negative five has no solution because the constant on the right side of the equation is negative. Do you believe that this is correct or not? Uh, what does your initial get just get tell you? I think it would be has no well it would wouldn't it have a solution because once you add the nine to the five, it would be positive. That's right. So that's the real answer is that you have to wait until you've set it equal to the absolute value. If the absolute value is equal to a negative number, it does have no solution, but it's once it's once it's this. All right. So mm -hmm. will you uh, will you solve this uh, for us, please? Yeah. Um. Um, 
Uh, I got x equals negative 4 over 3 and x equals negative 4. Right. Those are both correct. Very good. All right. So one more story problem here. Okay, so I want you to read this and then tell me the equation that you are solving. Like what I'm trying to solve out of the equation? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm asking for what equation you're solving. It's just, it, it'll be clear when you read through it, I think. If it's not, we'll, we'll do it quickly together here. All right. So the equation I'm trying to solve is um, D equals. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help here because we're, we're running out of time. It's this equation here set equal to D, which is 60. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so to solve this, 300 minus 48T equals 60. 300 minus 48T equals minus 60. So notice when you subtract 300, you get minus 48t equals minus 360. Subtract 300 over here. It's good to solve them kind of simultaneously. Minus 48t equals minus 360. Sorry, this one on the right, I apologize. This one on the left here is minus 240. I had the wrong, wrong thing there. When you, uh, when you divide by minus 48 here, you end up getting t equals 5. And when you divide by minus 48 here, you get T equals, let me go to the calculator on that one. That one's not as, as, as easy. Uh, looks like it's nine, 7.5. And I was way off on that one. Okay. So just because it looks weird, doesn't mean it doesn't work out right. Like you just have to kind of trust the process as you go through it and, uh, and, and see, uh, see what you see so all right that's going to do it for us for uh for today max let me go ahead and just stop the recording here